What's up everyone, so here's my recap video of the Mountain Dew Label Series party from Coachella 2017. For each one of these videos, I'm going to be describing what the party was like, in addition to giving you a bunch of shots and doing a little voiceover. Three things I'm going to say for each one of these videos is, first off, I lost my voice, so I'm trying to talk as best I can. Number two is that in addition, I have a link this below to all the other parties in the description of this video. And number three is that all these parties are very different in nature. Some more raging, some more chill, and everything in between. So some might appeal to you more than others. So the Mountain Dew Label Party actually was a, one of my favorite stuff of the weekend, I'd say. It was the first time I actually had it compared to a lot of these other parties have happened you know, in the past, this is the first one kicking it off. And the Mountain Dew one was a two day event. On the first day, essentially, they actually had g Easy performing, which was awesome. On the second day, it was more of like, I'd say like a chiller day. Now the cool thing about this Mountain Dew party is that one, they had a bunch of unlimited free drinks, all containing, you know, the Mountain Dew Black Label series that they're promoting. In addition, they had a bunch of different games from, you know, like beer pong. They had obviously like ping pong tables set up. They had a golf thing set up, obviously like a mini pool in addition and in addition to cornhole. And the really cool thing about the Mountain Dew party that was very different compared to all the other parties is that it was inside of a hotel, almost parking lot. So they had different rooms actually from different things. So they had a Mountain Dew VR, virtual reality room set up. They had a Mountain Dew uh, room set up with different artwork. They had all these kind of cool little attraction things to check out, which made the party a lot more interesting in general. In addition to to some of the other parties as well, they had um, like a really good array of amazing food. Like that's one thing I remember specifically from this party is they're giving out tons of awesome food and awesome drinks. Maybe I would say the best food and drinks from any party I went to. So really great, awesome party, especially because it had everything you want in a very small venue. It was a lot more smaller than a lot of the other parties. But you know, obviously like I said, they're g -Eazy performing, much of awesome DJs performing. It was big enough where it was super lively, but it was small enough where it was a very intimate venue too. So like I said, also with all the drinking games, all the unique rooms that they have that you could go into and check out all these cool little attractions. It was a great party and especially for the first time the Mountain Dew was hosting this, they absolutely nailed it and absolutely killed it as an awesome party.